Things that I enjoy as a teacher here in New Zealand. Part two, lower class ratio. I only have half the number of students I had back home in the Philippines. Having 27 students in a class is already too many. This year, I only have 25. When six are away, I only have 19 students for the day. My students are mostly Pacifica, whose culture is quite similar to ours Filipinos, so we can relate when we talk about getting whacked or smacked by our parents. And quite a lot of them greatly value good education. Number three, I have a laptop from school, which I bring home with me even during the holidays because our work doesn't stop in the classroom, right? We do work at home too. We got a new laptop every two years just to make sure it's always updated. Of course, we return the old one unless we're willing to pay for it if we want to buy it for a cheaper price. Number four, five days leave credits every year, but I still don't understand how this really works. What I know is that I availed five days sick leave for my surgery, even though I was just a teacher aide at that time. When I became a full-time permanent teacher five years ago, I was surprised to have 33 days of sick leave on my payslip, but I didn't get any more until this year, 2022. So the last time I checked, it was around 18 sick leave during my entire five years of teaching in a permanent position. The fifth thing I enjoy as a teacher here in New Zealand is all classroom resources are provided. Papers, pens, staples, scissors, you name it. Anything that you need, just request and they will try their best to provide it. Even clocks and other equipments that the kids need in order to learn more even the students to get their stationery for free. Chromebooks are also provided. Not enough though for everyone, but at least enough for group works and are very helpful to extend our learning. Six, morning tea. I come to school early and I normally just have my brekkie in my classroom. We have free coffee, milk, toast, butter, peanut butter, and sometimes biscuits for the staff. We just help ourselves. And sometimes we have big celebrations with lots of food. We can even take home some. The seventh, there's also free fruits every day for kids. The teachers can have some too. I even grab some for myself, but very seldom. I'm not into fruits, unfortunately, because I'm already happy with coffee and biscuits. Lunch is also free for students. There are spare ones, so I help myself. In many cases, I have to remind the kids to take the rest home. But recently, we've changed that system for the kids to take spare lunches home. Holidays is everyone's favorite. Students and teachers get to enjoy the two-week holiday for primary and secondary, but not with ECE though. And that's normally between terms, which is 10 to 11 weeks each term. And then around six weeks during summer holiday. If you're a full-time permanent teacher, you'll get to enjoy your full pay in summer. Well, no work for you if you have finished your plan for the next term. So what we normally do is to plan ahead so we don't have to go back to school so long as you're well ready when the school starts again the following term. After school at 3 p.m., if we don't have meeting, I can go and pick up my girl straight away and then we go home together. Because we normally just have our staff meeting and team meeting every Mondays and Tuesdays. Follow for part three. A lot of them greatly value good education.